The First Book of the Chronicles First Chronicles, Chapter 1 Adam, Sheth, Enosh, Kenan, Mahalalel, Jared, Henoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The sons of Japheth, Gomer and Magog, and Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshech, and Tyrus. And the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, and Ripheth, and Tagarma. And the sons of Javan, Elisha, and Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. The sons of Ham, Cush, Mizraim, Put, and Canaan. And the sons of Cush, Seba, and Havilah, and Sabta, and Raamah, and Saptica, and the sons of Raamah, Sheba, and Dedan. And Cush begat Nimrod, he began to be mighty upon the earth, and Mizraim begat Ludim, and Anamim, and Lehabim, and Naphtuhim, and Pathrusim, and Casluhim, of whom came the Philistines, and Caphtorim. And Canaan begat Zidon, his firstborn, and Heth, the Jebusite also, and the Amorite, and the Girgashite, and the Hivite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Arvadite, and the Zemarite, and the Hamathite. The sons of Shem, Elam, and Asher, and Arphaxad, and Lud, and Aram, and Uz, and Hull, and Gether, and Meshech. And Arphaxad begat Shelah, and Shelah begat Eber. And unto Eber were born two sons. The name of the one was Peleg, because in his days the earth was divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. And Joktan begat Almodad, and Sheleth, and Hazarmaveth, and Jira. Hadarim also, and Uzal, and Dikla, and Ebal, and Abimael, and Sheba, and Ophir, and Havilah, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Joktan. Shem, Arphaxad, Shela, Eber, Peleg, Reu, Serug, Nahor, Tira, Abram, the same as Abraham, the sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Ishmael. These are their generations. The firstborn of Ishmael, Nebaioth, then Keter, and Adbiel, and Mibsam, Mishma, and Duma, Massa, Hadad, and Tima, Jeter, Naphish, and Kedema. These are the sons of Ishmael. Now the sons of Keturah, Abraham's concubine, she bears Zimram, and Jokshan, and Medan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua, and the sons of Jokshan, Sheba, and Dedan, and the sons of Midian, Ephah, and Epher, and Henoch, and Abida, and Eldada. All these are the sons of Keturah. And Abraham begat Isaac, the sons of Isaac, Esau, and Israel. The sons of Esau, Eliphaz, Reuel, and Jeish, and Jaalim, and Korah. The sons of Eliphaz, Teman, and Omar, Zephi, and Gatim, Kenaz, and Timnah, and Amalek. The sons of Reuel, Naath, Zerah, Shammah, and Mizah. And the sons of Seir, Lotan, and Shobal, and Zibion, and Ana, and Dishan, and Ezar, and Dishan, and the sons of Lotan, Horai, and Homam, and Timnah was Lotan's sister, the sons of Shobal, Elion, and Manahath, and Ebal, and Shephi, and Onam, and the sons of Zibion, Aaiah, and Ana, the sons of Ana, Dishan, and the sons of Dishan, Amram, and Eshban, and Ithran, and Kiran. The sons of Ezer, Bilhan, and Zavan, and Jacan. The sons of Dishan, Uz, and Aran. Now these are the kings that reigned in the land of Edom before any king reigned over the children of Israel. Bela the son of Beor, and the name of his city was Dinhabah. And when Bela was dead, Jobab the son of Zerah of Basra reigned in his stead. And when Jobab was dead, Husham of the land of the Temanites reigned in his stead.
And when Husham was dead, Hadad the son of Bedad, which smote Midian in the field of Moab, reigned in his stead, and the name of his city was Avith. And when Hadad was dead, Samla of Masrika reigned in his stead. And when Samla was dead, Sheol of Rehoboth by the river reigned in his stead. And when Sheol was dead, Baalhanan the son of Akbor reigned in his stead. And when Baalhanan was dead, Hadad reigned in his stead. And the name of his city was Pei, and his wife's name was Mehedabal, the daughter of Matrid, the daughter of Mezahab. Hadad died also, and the dukes of Edom were Duke Timnah, Duke Eliah, Duke Jetheth, Duke Aholibamah, Duke Elah, Duke Pinan, Duke Kenaz, Duke Teman, Duke Mibzar, Duke Magdiel, Duke Iram. These are the dukes of Edom. First Chronicles chapter 2 These are the sons of Israel, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah, Issachar and Zebulun, Dan, Joseph, and Benjamin, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. The sons of Judah, Ur, and Onan, and Shelah, which three were born unto him of the daughter of Shua the Canaanitess. And Ur, the firstborn of Judah, was evil in the sight of the Lord, and he slew him. And Tamar his daughter-in-law bare him Pharez and Zerah. All the sons of Judah were five. The sons of Pharez, Hezron and Hamel, and the sons of Zerah, Zimri and Ethan and Heman and Calcol and Dera, five of them in all. And the sons of Carmi, Achar, the troubler of Israel, who transgressed in the thing accursed. And the sons of Ethan, Azariah, the sons also of Hezron that were born unto him, Jeramiel and Ram and Kelubai. And Ram begat Aminadab, and Aminadab begat Nashan, prince of the children of Judah. And Nashan begat Salma, and Salma begat Boaz, and Boaz begat Obed, and Obed begat Jesse. And Jesse begat his firstborn Eliab, and Aminadab the second, and Shema the third, Nathaniel the fourth, Radii the fifth, Ozem the sixth, David the seventh, whose sisters were Zeraiah and Abigail, and the sons of Zeraiah, Abishai and Joab, and Asahel, three. And Abigail bare Amasa, and the father of Amasa was Jether the Ishmaelite. And the night following, the Lord stood by him and said, Be of good cheer, Paul, for as thou hast testified of me in Jerusalem, so must thou bear witness also at Rome. And when it was day, certain of the Jews banded together and bound themselves under a curse, saying that they would neither eat nor drink till they had killed Paul. And they were more than forty which made this conspiracy. And they came to the chief priests and elders and said, We have bound ourselves under a great curse that we will eat nothing until we have slain Paul. Now therefore ye with the council signify to the chief captain that he bring him down unto you tomorrow, as though ye would inquire something more perfectly concerning him, and we, or ever he come near, are ready to kill him. And when Paul's sister's son heard of their lying in wait, he went and entered into the castle and told Paul. Then Paul called one of the centurions unto him and said, Bring this young man unto the chief captain, for he hath a certain thing to tell him. So he took him, and brought him to the chief captain, and said, Paul the prisoner called me unto him, and prayed me to bring this young man unto thee, who has something to say unto thee. Then the chief captain took him by the hand, and went with him aside privately, and asked him, What is that thou hast to tell me? And he said, the Jews have agreed to desire thee that thou wouldest bring down Paul tomorrow into the council, as though they would inquire somewhat of him more perfectly. But do not thou yield unto them, for there lie in wait for him of them more than forty men, which have bound themselves with an oath that they will neither eat nor drink till they have killed him. And now are they ready, looking for a promise from thee. So the chief captain then let the young man depart and charged him, See thou, tell no man that thou hast showed these things to me. And he called unto him two centurions, saying, 
Make ready 200 soldiers to go to Caesarea, and horsemen three score and ten, and spearmen 200 at the third hour of the night, and provide them beasts that they may set Paul on, and bring him safe unto Felix the governor. And he wrote a letter after this manner. Claudius Lysias, unto the most excellent governor Felix, sendeth greeting. This man was taken of the Jews, and should have been killed of them. Then came I with an army, and rescued him, having understood that he was a Roman. And when I would have known the cause wherefore they accused him, I brought him forth into their council, whom I perceived to be accused of questions of their law, but to have nothing laid to his charge, worthy of death or of bonds. And when it was told me how that the Jews laid wait for the man, I sent straightway to thee, and gave commandment to his accusers also to say before thee what they had against him. Farewell. Then the soldiers, as it was commanded them, took Paul and brought him by night to Antipatris. On the morrow they left the horsemen to go with him and return to the castle, who, when they came to Caesarea and delivered the epistle to the governor, presented Paul also before him. And when the governor had read the letter, he asked of what province he was. And when he understood that he was of Cilicia, I will hear thee, said he, when thine accusers are also come and he commanded him to be kept in Herod's judgment hall. Proverbs chapter 5 My son, attend unto my wisdom, and bow thine ear to my understanding, that thou mayest regard discretion, and that thy lips may keep knowledge. For the lips of a strange woman drop as an honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil. But her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp, as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps take hold on hell. Lest thou shouldest ponder the path of life, her ways are movable, that thou canst not know them. Hear me now, therefore, O ye children, and depart not from the words of my mouth. Remove thy way far from her, and come not nigh the door of her house, lest thou give thine honor unto others, and thy years unto the cruel, lest strangers be filled with thy wealth, and thy labors be in the house of a stranger. And thou mourn at the last, when thy flesh and thy body are consumed, and say, How have I hated instruction, and my heart despised reproof, and have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor inclined mine ear to them that instructed me. I was almost in all evil in the midst of the congregation and assembly. Drink waters out of thine own cistern, and running waters out of thine own well. Let thy fountains be dispersed abroad, and rivers of waters in the streets. Let them be only thine own and not strangers with thee. Let thy fountain be blessed, and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Let her be as the loving hind and pleasant roe. Let her breasts satisfy thee at all times, and be thou ravished always with her love. And why wilt thou, my son, be ravished with a strange woman, and embrace the bosom of a stranger? For the ways of man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he pondereth all his goings. His own iniquities shall take the wicked himself, and he shall be holden with the cords of his sins. He shall die without instruction, and in the greatness of his folly he shall go astray. Psalm 21 To the Chief Musician A Psalm of David The king shall joy in thy strength, O Lord, and in thy salvation how greatly shall he rejoice. Thou hast given him his heart's desire, and hast not withholden the request of his lips. Selah, for thou preventest him with the blessings of goodness. Thou settest a crown of pure gold on his head. He asked life of thee, and thou gavest it him, even length of days for ever and ever. His glory is great in thy salvation. Honor and majesty hast thou laid upon him. For thou hast made him most blessed forever. Thou hast made him exceeding glad with thy countenance. For the king trusteth in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High he shall not be moved.
Thine hand shall find out all thine enemies. Thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. The Lord shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their fruit shalt thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the children of men. For they intended evil against thee. They imagined a mischievous device, which they are not able to perform. Therefore shalt thou make them turn their back, when thou shalt make ready thine arrows upon thy strings against the face of them. Be thou exalted, Lord, in thine own strength. So will we sing and praise thy power. Psalm 22 To the chief musician upon Igeleth Shehar A Psalm of David My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me? and from the words of my roaring. O oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not, and in the night season, and am not silent. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in thee, they trusted and thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee, and were delivered. They trusted in thee, and were not confounded. But I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men and despised of the people. All they that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip, they shake the head, saying, He trusted on the Lord that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him, seeing he delighted in him. But thou art he that took me out of the womb. Thou didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breasts. I was cast upon thee from the womb. Thou art my God from my mother's belly. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have compassed me, strong bulls of Bashan have beset me round. They gaped upon me with their mouths, as a ravening and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, it is melted in the midst of my bowels. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue cleaveth to my jaws, and thou hast brought me into the dust of death. For dogs have compassed me, the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. I may tell all my bones, they look and stare upon me. They part my garments among them, and cast lots upon my vesture. But be not thou far from me, O Lord. O my strength, haste thee to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, my darling from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorns. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. All ye the seed of Jacob, glorify him. And fear him, all ye the seed of Israel. For he hath not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted. Neither hath he hid his face from him. But when he cried unto him, he heard. My praise shall be of thee in the great congregation. I will pay my vows before them that fear him. The meek shall eat and be satisfied. They shall praise the Lord that seek him. Your heart shall live forever. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord, and all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he is the governor among the nations. All they that be fat upon earth shall eat and worship. All they that go down to the dust shall bow before him, and none can keep alive his own soul. A seed shall serve him. It shall be accounted to the Lord for a generation. They shall come and shall declare his righteousness unto a people that shall be born, that he hath done this. Psalm 23 
A Psalm of David The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 24 A Psalm of David The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Selah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, He is the King of glory, Selah. Psalm 25 A Psalm of David Unto Thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in Thee. Let me not be ashamed, let not mine enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindnesses, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he teach sinners in the way. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth, unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon mine iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn thee unto me, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. O oh, bring thou me out of my distresses. Look upon mine affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. Consider mine enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. O oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on thee. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Psalm 